Hey, good morning. Whew, a lot going on here. I'm kind of keeping you guys in the dark because, well, we've been in the dark a little bit, just planning and figuring out how to make this thing work and come up with some crazy ideas. So this week we're gonna walk you through a bit of that. We've gotten started on stuff and yeah, I'll take you through a bit of our process. Today we're just, well I am anyway, setting up the mill here by the damp pole and just gonna take some of these logs over here and turn them into some post stock that we can mount on the side of the wall over here because what we're gonna be doing is uh, building a dome around the dome. So we did uh, a little test geodesic pattern that we uh, got off of the acid dome calculator online. Thank you, acid dome, for that miracle. And I sort of felt like we've got some major challenges here with the design, trying to fill in those big gaps at the bottom with just sheeting, etc. And just had a bunch of questions. So what we ended up deciding, and I kind of inspired to do so, was to build this geodesic dome around that dome. <laughs> And uh, then we can uh, treat that one a little more like a roof, a little more repeatable. Even though there's 235 triangles to make, I feel like we're gonna have a much more uh, crazy thing in the end, that's for sure. It's gonna be beautiful, but also um, just a lot more together when it comes to getting the roof on. And we can kind of tie it into the existing structure. Not sure how much it's gonna need that but we're going to run some posts down the outside, time into the concrete and see what kind of miracles we can make. That's a bit of a job as always. So here we are just kind of ready to start that process. I'm on my own today. Nigel helped me out with getting that little mini dome last week. We need to proof of concept. So now we're getting ready to mill some posts. See you soon. Okay, so it begins. We've got 270 of these bad boys to deal with. First of all, we got to S4S all of these into little blanks for for the dome cuz you know, they're they're off the rack 2 by 6s They're not perfect. So, we want them perfect. Um Everything here is like down to the millimeter, down to the point tenth of a degree, so it's pretty insane. So everything's got to be just right on the money. So I'm going to cut these down into smaller chunks and then run them through the planer, run them through the jointer, etc., etc. So, yeah, here we go. Down into the rough and run 
through the joint or two sides. Bring them over here to the planer, send them through there. Then two bevel passes on the table saw. And you dial in your miter saw, the digital angle finders. Make your first cut. Do 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 do. And then you gotta set up a stop to cut the other ends. And so, so far after two and a half days, I've got three piles of struts. So the, the E's were actually the old A's because I made a mistake. So I've got the A's, the B's, and the C's. So that would be my first triangle of eight. So there's 42 of those. And these guys are just some shorter ones for some smaller triangles. And yeah, a little pile of scrap here. And a few bins of scrap there. But yeah, chipping away. Final strut, 310 two by sixes later. Just gonna pop the last little labels on here. Amazing. Let's take a little look around and see. Okay. So 42 of triangle one. 42 of triangle two, 42. Oh, look at all these. Boom, 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 boom. A lot of triangles. We got some good blocking scrap over here. Bins of scrap all outside everywhere. And we did put a few together the other day, so we've got to start on that process. Bags and bags of chips everywhere. Oh, what a marathon. This is all just dust out of the miter saw. <laughs> oh, the shop's still standing. After having all that weight in here, not a problem. All right, fun times. Oh, keep you posted. Try to get this video out soon. I'm just hanging on to this footage for you. All right, peace. That's not coming off, eh, once it goes off. <laughs> That's good, right? <laughs> yeah, hope you like it. <laughs> Love it. Sandy boy. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> yep. <laughs> You'll all be YouTube stars one day. <laughs> Thank you.